Hello everyone, that's Macabre here. Welcome back to another video in the month of spooks. And today I have Vincy joining me once again. Why is it so quiet? I don't I don't know. We just clicked on this and we just have this guy staring at us menacingly with no music at all. <laughs> Wait, he's he has eyes for you? For me it's just a mouth. Well, just a mouth, but his mouth is staring at me. <laughs> that is very true. Isn't the sharp teeth supposed to be the canines? Or has vampire teeth always been there? He, he's a, he's an English vampire. His teeth are a little bit janky. Oh, I'm there sorry we to go. any okay. English people watching. <laughs> completely, you just completely isolated. Oh no. I'm sorry. I have, I have English blood, okay? <laughs> From a one night stand. <laughs> hey, look, don't be bringing up my ancestors' dirty laundry. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, this is interactive horror stories. I have no idea how this game is. Vincy doesn't either. I just thought this was for free and it's month of spooks, and my computer cannot play any horror games worth a crap, so we're gonna do this. <laughs> Which one should we start with? The doll? After Funeral, Crystal Skull, Evil Benayeth, The Groaned. Well, we can't Christal do Crystal Skull 2, Electric Boogaloo before a Crystal Skull. <laughs> we don't need a tutorial. Madness and or Infinite Loop and Luigi. Luigi. In, in, in Fiant Loop. <laughs> and Luigi. I guess we'll start and with the doll. We'll just go in order. <laughs> Uh, but Luigi. Alright. The doll it is. Alright, the doll. You are a single- There's no- Yeah, it is weird. There's like no audio at all. I'm gonna have to just throw in some kind of very spooky, non-copyrighted music here because I- we, we just don't hear anything. I'm gonna turn my light off. Yeah, we gotta make it extra spook. It's for me, it's 10.55 in the morning, so it's very light, so it, it, I, I cannot- <laughs> It's almost 9 p.m. here. Why did you get time when I said this? <laughs> I was oh, drinking I I... coffee. <laughs> oh. Uh, I guess I will. Alright. You are a single mother. Your daughter, Lisa, is an intelligent girl who doesn't have any friends. You buy her a rag doll. Soon, Lisa will claim that the doll can talk. And this is just the beginning of your nightmare. Can a doll really be possessed, as Lisa claims? If you are stuck, you can see her Facebook post about how to get the good ending. <laughs> oh my, well, okay. That Let's play. It. Press any key to continue. As a single mother, you know how hard it is to look after a 13-year-old girl- Oh god, the mood swings. <laughs> hard, but still joyful. Her presence gives you all the strength you need. Her name is Lisa. She is a shy girl. She doesn't talk much. He got divorced three years ago because he With cheated- With your daughter? <laughs> 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 yeah, we got divorced from our daughter. <laughs> I know it's the I know it's the husband because it's because he cheated on you with the secretary, but it doesn't establish that it's the husband. It just says you got divorced three years ago because he cheated on you with the secretary. Who? You're not establishing who? I know. Like it, es it establishes it like, at least in Mrs. Her father, but before it wasn't established. It's not very well connected. <laughs> no. You got divorced three years ago. Because he cheated on you with his secretary, Lisa misses her father, but you don't allow her to see him. She adores her father, but you think he's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa is a special kid. Her teacher once said that she is too intelligent for her girl her age, but you already knew it. Her reactions are unexpectedly mature. She is also hardworking. You expect perfection from her. Wow! Wow! I think the mother's a little bit cuckoo. <laughs> yeah, wow! Her teacher told you that you must take Lisa to a psychiatrist. You will do it Why? soon. I, this is very odd, like, it, it feels a little bit broken. Maybe, maybe the mother is just having all these thoughts racing in her head. She's trying to piece all these things together because she's crazy. <laughs> yeah. She's a lonely girl. 
Maybe because she doesn't talk much, you think that she needs friends. Wow! She <laughs> so you bought her a rag doll to seize her. Get her a dog. Wow! Don't get your kid a fucking. Don't get your 13 year old kid a doll to help them with loneliness. Get him a dog. Okay? Yeah, That's gonna make a them cat. a lot happier. Yeah, or, or a cat, cat or a bunny or fish or something. Don't get him a. Who is on, like, my kid's lonely? Let's get him a ragdoll. <laughs> I mean, unless she asked for the ragdoll. Yeah. You bought the ragdoll from the local toy store. Not an expensive toy. Nothing too fancy. Just some cheap bargain bin <laughs> ragdoll. <laughs> <laughs> might, Lisa might still like it. You know that expense doesn't make Lisa happier. What? <laughs> I don't know. The doll is a girl with big blue eyes and curly black hair. She has a wide grin that you can call f friendly. Are you sure it's friendly and not psychopathic? <laughs> Why are we even talking about this? Her dress is red, matching her Sh shoes. Does she go? <gasps> she also it, has Shiko? eyebrows. <laughs> eyebrows. Oh it's god. definitely Shichiko. <laughs> it's Shichiko from Forest Party. Oh my god. The unnamed Sachiko. doll. No, it's Shichiko. The it's unnamed... Sachi or her name is Shichiko. <laughs> Shichiko waits for her new owner in kid's bedroom. <laughs> you haven't brought Lisa home from school yet. <laughs> oh. Okay, it's Friday. Not a sunny day. The sky is covered with gray clouds. You're driving your car. Lisa sits in the front seat. The seatbelts are worn tight. No, uh, no, no, on the front. Uh, on the next seat. On the next seat. She looks from the window, blankly, without any expression on her face. You remember that math's exam results were going to be announced today. Let's see. So, one, how are the exam results? Two, were you able to make any friends today? Three, I bought you a ragdoll. Or four, continue driving. I don't know. I mean, I, she obviously hasn't made any friends. And it <laughs> seems like the math results Rag probably were not going to go well. She doesn't have any expression. <laughs> yeah, but... That doesn't necessarily mean it's bad, but 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 like the ragdoll is a is a surprise. I personally would choose one. True. All right. How are the exam results, sweetie? Lisa sighs and says, "Uh, uh, uh." Do you want to be Lisa? Uh, I'm thinking of a voice. <laughs> Terrible. I am the seventh in the class. Not. Most like the previous exam. I know you will be mad at me, mother. I didn't study enough. No, because we're not a asshole. We're gonna say it's, it's okay. okay, darling. She looks at you with slight surprise. You always scolded her whenever she wasn't the no! best. <laughs> what a terrible mom. No wonder the father cheated on her. <laughs> she was probably like, ugh. You were not the best in bed today, how could you? <laughs> <laughs> you always scolded her whenever she wasn't the best. Now you say, It's okay, darling. She continues watching the cars passing by. You're driving your car. Lisa sits on the front seat. The seat belts are worn tight. She looks from the window blankly without any expression. Oh, this is the same thing. Uh, so I guess we just gotta keep asking. Were you able to make any uh, friends? No, 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 no. I oh. bought you a ragdoll. Did, uh, did you click the friends? Did you click the friends? Well, I clicked it and then I think I accidentally held it through everything. So I just skipped it all. So I have no idea what happened. <laughs> Probably okay. no. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll click it. No, she, no, she says with a determined voice. They are just idiots. For example, they see the other classes in the school as enemies, as if they were an enemy nation with a different religion. I mean, it is still silly to be enemies because of race or religion. These morons in my class hate each other just because they are different classes. Lisa is such a queen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I guess we click. I, I get the same thing. So I guess I bought you a ragdoll today. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. She says there isn't any excitement in her voice. I mean, yeah, you got her a freaking dollar store ragdoll instead of a puppy or something. Okay. <laughs> I know. Or for me, an optimal game. <laughs> exactly. All right. I guess we'll I guess just continue driving. Yep. You finally arrive home. 
The doll is in your bedroom, Lisa, you tell her. She climbs up the stairs slowly. Apparently, she isn't so excited about the doll. You follow her to her bedroom. She picks up the doll that's on her bed. I will think of a nice name, Lisa says. But I have got homework to do first. Play comes after study. Work hard, play hard. Don't go hard on yourself. Or- yeah, don't go hard on yourself, Lisa. So you leave Lisa alone in her room. You have a lot of work to do anyway. Not only you will cook, but you also <laughs> have but you also need to work on a novel's cover illustration as a freelance artist. The deadline is close, so you work hard nowadays. You work all day. The only break you take is the dinner. You don't the talk dinner. about anything during dinner with Lisa. No wonder Lisa what? has problems. Yeah. No you don't talk she likes during the dinner. <laughs> no wonder she likes her dad better. I know. Her dad at least talks during the dinner. It's 2200. That's 10 o'clock, right? <laughs> yes, yes. As someone who lives in Europe currently, that means it's 10. Okay. I'm just a dumb American. <laughs> No, you are just an American with 12-hour clocks and not 24-hour clock. I'm just kidding. Bedtime for Lisa. You visit Lisa before she sleeps. She's in her pink dotted pajamas. She is holding the Isn't doll. Isn't that how- wait, wait, no, that's how you spell pajamas in, in England, I think. Stop isolating me! I'm sorry, I'm just joking. Wow, it really is an English vampire. They're, t- they're using European terms. <laughs> I think it's European, don't quote me on that. I think that is the European way to spell pajamas. I don't know. I think sometimes they spell it like that over in America, hamburger land, but not usually. I have no idea. I don't know either. She is holding the doll in her arms. Mom, I'm going to tell you something, but you won't believe. After a few seconds of silence, she speaks. The doll can speak. She told me her name is Sachiko. <laughs> I'm sticking by this. <laughs> okay, we'll just like I like to imagine that the doll was like, my name is Sachiko, and Lisa's like, hmm. Her name's Anna, and the doll's like, God damn it! Or the doll's like, my name's Anna, and she's like, ah, Sachiko, got it. <laughs> Either way, the doll's like, what the fuck? <laughs> so we say, go on. Yeah. Lisa explains. Sachiko says that she was nothing but a piece of light, a light that's drifting in absolute blackness, a weak light in the infinite darkness. Then... She found life in the stall. She was waiting in the toy store for a friend, lonely. And today she found me. She says that she loves me. All right. So we should not say number one because that's just going to be rude. Yeah. Is throwing the doll away going to piss off the doll? But I don't think we should keep it. (laughs) Well, then let's ask, what did you tell her? All right. Lisa smiles. And I said that I will be her new friend, and I will always love her. And she continues. And then she told me that she was happy. Happy like the times when she used to be an angel. Is it really an angel, though? Or is it a demon trying to pretend to be an angel? I mean, we don't know. I feel like it's pretending. This is a horror game, after all. That... Alright. So do we say, I believe in you, we need to throw the doll away, or keep... Are you being racist towards demons right now? Man, I guess so. First I'm exclusive towards English people, and now I'm being racist towards demons. Well, I guess I'm, it's time to be cancelled. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright, do we throw away the doll or keep it? I don't know. I mean, Lisa seems happy. I feel like this is gonna end up very... Mm. Do we want to piss off the doll? True. Let's keep it for now. Alright, we'll keep it for now, but you're on thin ice, Sachiko. <laughs> yeah. Lisa doesn't show her emotions usually, but this time you see she is surprised. Oh, thank you very much, Mum. She says. You kiss her goodnight and leave her with Anna the doll. Hey, Sachiko! Sachiko the doll. <laughs> because of all the hard work, you begin to feel tired, and you go to bed. It doesn't take long for you to fall asleep. A few hours you later, and me, you and me, both sister. A few I'm hours so tired. <laughs> a few hours later, you wake up to the sounds coming from the outside. You hear hysterical laughters coming from the garden. 
They belong to a girl, specifically Lisa's. You stand up and look outside the window. You see Lisa standing and laughing in the garden under the pale moonlight. She is facing back. You can't see her face. Damn it, I knew the doll was evil. Well, she's just having a great time. We should just go to the garden, I think. All right. We're going to the garden. You climb down nervously. You wear your shoes and walk to the garden. Lisa doesn't react to your presence. You approach Lisa and put your hand on her shoulder. She turns her face to you. It's not Lisa's face. It's not even a human face. The texture of the face is a gray rag. The eyes are quite big for a human. So is the white smile. The voice changes. It doesn't belong to a girl now, but a demon. She stares at you and laugh. You wake up. It was just a nightmare. You were all sweaty. <laughs> okay, fine, Sachiko. You're fine right this second. <laughs> You are all sweaty with terror. The morning has already broken. God damn it, who broke it? God! God. <laughs> it's a Chico, it's all your fault. Hey! Stop blaming it on Chico! She's Maybe it's the mother. <laughs> the mother's just yeah. crazy. She yeah. broke the morning. She's all crazy. Yeah. You decide to check on Lisa. Lisa is sleeping peacefully, hugging Anna. Anna is carrying that wide smile that annoys you now. <laughs> annoys. I love how she's just looking at Sachiko's smile and it's just like, ah, annoying. <laughs> All you had was a fucking nightmare. Get over it. But hey, it is normal. It would be terrible if the doll's face was different than how you bought it. You go to the kitchen to prepare a weekend breakfast. You usually make omelet. Oh hell yeah! You usually make omelet with sausage on Saturdays. You will repeat that habit today. You are in the kitchen. You take the sausage and eggs from the fridge. You need to slice the sausage, so you open the drawer to pick up the meat knife. Something is wrong. The knife isn't there. I mean, obviously, you would search for it in the kitchen, right? Why would you look in the garbage bin right away? Yeah, that is- A normal, a yeah, normal person! I feel like it probably is in the garbage bin for that to even be an option, but- A normal person would search the kitchen. Let's search the kitchen. You search the whole kitchen. No drawer is not looked into. You even look into the fridge. No, the knife isn't there either. There's only one place you haven't looked inside. The garbage bin. You open the lid. You couldn't find the knife inside the garbage bin. Oh, well, it was a red herring. Oh, you search a knife in everywhere possible, but it's in vain. So you decide to use another knife to prepare the omelet. I think you should be concerned Wait. that there's a missing knife. <laughs> I, th I thought you were using a knife for meat. Whatever, she's crazy. <laughs> After you have prepared the omelet, Lisa wakes up and joins you in the kitchen. You eat the breakfast with her. She doesn't look so happy. There is an uneasiness on her face. I guess we should ask if Anna spoke again. Yeah, did Anna speak again? She did not speak today, but she kept changing her facial expression. Sometimes she looked so happy, sometimes not. She was frowning, there was anger in her face. I cannot understand her. We should have gotten rid of the doll. <laughs> what, what do you mean? She's just having a not good day. You know, it happens. <laughs> like, what the hell? Lisa continues eating the breakfast. The meat knife okay. is missing. Yeah. It is strange, Mom. I have no idea where the knife went. Lisa answered. I think you know where the knife went, Lisa. We don't know. Uh, maybe we don't ask anything? Like, why are we- like, come on, it's Saturday. Yeah, we're not gonna- we're not gonna tell her not to play. <laughs> yeah, don't ask anything. Yeah. The breakfast is over. I need to study math, says Lisa, then climbs up to her room. You also need to work on the novel cover. You are both busy now. You should see, talk to your is... daughter. Yeah, not tell her to study. Like, see, she decided to study on her own. Like, that's great. Like, you shouldn't have to tell her to study. This girl don't act like a normal girl, though. She has, she just studies all the time. Oh, well. <laughs> Sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> no, it's fine. It is evening now. As you work on the cover, you hear screams from Lisa's room. You rush to her room. You find Lisa standing and breathing in panic. Her arms are full of stitches. She did it! Lisa screams, showing her heavily wounded arms as blood leaks down to the floor. 
She jumped and ran away. Lisa points to the open window. You look outside. You can't see any running dolls there because she ran away. Or it is too dark outside or Lisa is lying. I Why would you slap her? her? I, yeah, I told her to put her arms like that in that condition. I won't allow her to harm you, Lisa. Yeah, we won't allow it. You crouch and hug Lisa as she cries. I know how hard it is for you to believe me now. Thank you for believing me. But please, I want to stay alone. I know that she won't come back. So you let her stay alone in her room. After closing the windows and locking the door, you make sure that no doll can trespass. You get into your own bedroom, next to Lisa's room, so you can hear her in case she needs you. Oh, you Jesus fucking... Christ! <laughs> oh, I haven't even clicked. Oh. <laughs> I clicked and there was just lightning. <laughs> oh, that was lightning? Yeah. I think it was. That or the doll has a laser gun now. <laughs> Hell yeah. It is. Oh, hi, car. <laughs> Thanks, car. <laughs> it is 3 a.m. now because all the scariest things happen at 3 a.m. Seriously, what the hell? <laughs> it's raining outside. Lightnings strike and enlighten your dark bedroom. You haven't slept. You don't care about the freelance work you got. All these events make you too stressed to care about business. You see Lisa's silhouette at the door. She walks in. Lisa turns on the light and approaches you. Mom, I need to confess something. The doll is not possessed or anything. I made it up. <gasps> I really need to get psychiatric help. I feel a huge urge to murder you. Please help me. You hug her. You had done parenting failures before. Oh, you've done it... a lot of those. Yeah. <sighs> But it is not too late to fix them and your mentally ill daughter. The end. <laughs> hey! Hey, we got the achievement good mom! Yeah, hey, that was actually really good! Yay! Yay! See? Belie see? Believing in our daughter! See? Don't be a butt and you can be a good mom! I know! See what the. Come on, see? Yeah, so it wasn't Sh Sachiko after all. <laughs> that her Sachiko was like, yo, girl, you need to get some psychiatric help. Sachiko's <laughs> <laughs> like, man, you're crazy. Me. She's like, girl, talk to your mama, get a therapist, I'm outie. <laughs> yeah. Should we do after fun funeral? After funeral. Because there's no funeral without fun. Uh, After funeral is a modern oh, gothic. You... Hmm? Uh, okay, if you want to read, you can read. I was gonna say, do you want to switch it up? Let's switch it up. All right. After Funeral is a modern gothic horror story that takes place three days after your son's burial. Ah, uh, poor received... Johnny. Oh yeah, it is Jonathan White, isn't it? Don White? Uh -huh. You receive messages in your computer, those claim to be sent by your son's soul. He says that he wants to be with you once again, and he asks you to do a few things in order to be resurrected. Will you believe in the messages? Actually, I was not even looking at the gravestone, I was saying Johnny as a joke. <laughs> No, it says Jonathan White right there. Well, he is Johnny. Rest in peace, Johnny. Johnny, Johnny. <laughs> yes, Pop. <laughs> no, no, copyright! Oh, no? You used to be a father. It has been three <gasps> is days. Is it uh, since... Lisa's mom's husband? <gasps> Confirmed. <laughs> it has been three days since your son, Jonathan White, we had him with the secretary was buried in the graveyard of the local church. He was he eight ate years too much old. Sugar. God damn it, Johnny. <laughs> he was eight years old. He had golden hair and blue eyes, just like the beloved man in the carpenter's song close to you. Okay. Since your wife passed away after giving birth to Jonathan, and since he has been your everything, why that is a weird sentence. A lot of these are weird sentences. <laughs> no <laughs> no offense to the developers if you're watching. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this was translated, I believe, so, I mean, that's not their fault. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good for this most likely not being your first language. Actually, I don't yeah. think it is because the other option was Turkish. Or maybe they're just very exclusive. <laughs> 
But if this if English is not your first language, this is pretty good so far. <laughs> yeah, we just make fun of grammar errors. We make fun of our own grammar errors. I laugh at myself all the time. <laughs> yeah. He was your angel, and now he is gone. He died on a snowy winter morning. Oh god, I love snow. <laughs> you had gone to mar you you had gone to market, leaving him alone at home. Why didn't you take him with you? When you arrived at home, <laughs> when you arrived at home, you found Jonathan lying on the bed motionless. His face was covered with his pillow, choked. <gasps> Police couldn't find any trace of trespassing. It was Santa. God damn! <laughs> Johnny wasn't a good boy that year because he ate sugar and lied about it. <laughs> No, no, it's Santa's fault. He breaks into your house. He leaves weird things wrapped wrapped in presents there. Who knows what's inside those? He eats your food and he calls you a hoe. <laughs> and his reindeers probably poop all over your roof, too. Yeah, well, reindeers are amazing, so. <laughs> you clearly remember the solemn moments of Jonathan's funeral. In fact, you try to forget, but the details are in front of your eyes. <laughs> Don't the yawn priest. at your son's funeral, God. <laughs> Look, the father is very tired. <laughs> the priest had intoned palms, psalms, slums, <laughs> slums. <laughs> it's just psalm, like the P is silent. Psalms and prayers. Those you are not so familiar with, you are not so religious. While the lifeless body of your son laid in the church, his feet were turned to the east. He was wearing black suits, not one, but many, and shiny shoes. <laughs> they just his really huddle him up in all those suits. It's really cold. I mean, it's, yeah, it's cold. He was way too young for all this. Exactly. You wish, oh, you wish it was you oh. lying there instead of that. Oh, now I feel bad. Oh, sorry for <laughs> laughing at you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> like the day Jonathan died, it's a snowy day in all of Ohio. There are three inches of snow outside. It's 14 o'clock now, or it's 2 o'clock p.m. now. You are a writer You are a writer who has been on writer's block since that day. Your favorite word proce processor is open in the computer. The screen is blank. You haven't written anything for a long time. There are cigarette buds in ashtray and your black hot coffee in a blue cup on your work table. You chain smoke and consume a lot of coffee nowadays. That's called depression. Oh, as you're sipping your coffee, the doorbell rings. I guess we'll open the door. Okay. You open the door. It's Bob! Bob! <laughs> your neighbor and friend. He had drunk beers and had barbecue with him for several times. Bob is a nice guy. He is overweight, but who cares? He has short black hair and has no facial hair. He wears a dark blue jacket and a blue beanie. Hey, how are you? I wanted to ask how you have been. I don't know. But, oh, oh, that, oh, that was... Oh, that was... okay. Bob that replies. or he would probably be southern. <laughs> like a redneck. <laughs> Excuse you! As someone who originates from Kentucky... <laughs> I'm sorry. Bob replies... Uh, oh, wait. I can... Wait, which option did you do? I didn't have an option. But... I see. I am still depressed and I am fine. I guess depressed? Okay. Oh yeah, Bob replies. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, um, I can imagine how hard it is. I never. Would you stop? <laughs> I never. Do had... I talk like that? Do I talk like that? No. <laughs> Fine, I'll turn back to an Italian. I never <laughs> had kids, but I had a cat when I was younger. I loved her as my daughter. Then I had the barrier to the garden myself. It was a tough. I know how much you love the Johnny. I am shocked you like I am I am shook it. <laughs> <laughs> I am shook it. Bob continues. I am a going to the market right now to get some spaghetti. Do you need anything? You remember that you are out of cigarettes? Yeah, I need cigarettes. I I I mean I guess. Yeah. Ah, you need the cigarettes. He puts his hand in his pocket, then pulls a pack of cigarettes. Maybe I am a bad friend for doing this, but anyway, take this. I will buy myself another pack in the market. You take the pack that has ten cigarettes. Cigarettes? <laughs> cigarettes? 
cigarettes and thank him. My bad. That was my bad. It's not the writing or anything. I just misspoke. <laughs> okay, man. See you later. <laughs> you say goodbye to Bob, too. Then he goes. Goodbye, Bob. You were a great friend. What you close the friend. door and sit. <laughs> you close the door and sit back on your work table. You look at the computer screen that should have had blank, had been blank, but no, it is not blank. Something is written. Daddy, I miss you. Ooh. John, I guess we type Jonathan. Yeah, Jonathan. You type Jonathan at the computer. The new letters get appended huh. at the text on the screen. I, I'm gonna say then the new letters appeared on appeared on the screen. Whoever types it, he, she, it writes fast. When they are finished, they form two sentences. I can hear you, Daddy. Talk to me. Shout Jonathan. Yeah. As you shout your deceased son's name, new letters appear and form a reply. Yes, it is me. <laughs> you, you are not a computer engineer, but you know that it is possible to hack someone's computer and pull a put a prank on him if the computer is online. Your computer is connected to the internet with an ethernet cable. Should we pull the cable? Yeah. Let's pull it. You crouch down and frantically pull the ethernet cable from your computer. You expect that nothing else will be written, but no, you are wrong. I am in the computer. How is that possible, Jonathan? Good lord! said that I love <laughs> to be together with you. He said that I love you and you love me, so he sent me back. Oh. oh no, is the Sphinx gonna like, try to convince the guy to kill himself? I hope it convinces him to go to church. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do I am O? So... Yeah, I, I, I did O. I am so afraid, Daddy. It is cold and dark. I am so cold here. Please bring me back. Do you want to see me once again? Yes. Yes. Find five candles and wait for the midnight. <laughs> for the midnight. Bye for now, Daddy. I don't trust this. I do. <laughs> you have got only one candle at home. You normally use the candle when the electricity is gone, so you didn't need more than one candle before. What will you do? Should we ask Bob? <laughs> Let's ask Bob! Hey, Bob. You wear your long beige coat and black leather boots. Wow, this guy sounds hot. <laughs> you walk to Bob's house and ring the bell. After of course you're seconds. into the daddies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> After 10 seconds, Bob opens the door. Hey, what's up? Ooh, I receive- should we- should we confine in our good friend Bob? Hmm. Let's confine. Alright. I receive strange messages, says that it's Jonathan. You explain, Bob, everything that happened today, including the owner of the messages asking for five candles. Bob looks quite surprised. I think someone is pulling a prank on you. I don't think- I don't really believe in ghosts or something like that. But if I were you, I would not do what he wanted to do. Are you sure you still want the candles? What should we do? Should we believe in our good friend Bob? Or should we hold on to our emotions from a deceased child? I think I don't... we sh I, th I think we should trust Bob. I think we should move on and accept that he's dead. I've seen yeah, I don't. Else. I don't trust the... I don't trust it, and even if it is Jonathan, I don't think he's gonna come back the same. Yeah, I've seen Full Metal Alchemist. So let's say no, I think you might be right. Alright. At home, you wait in front of your monitor. Nothing happens till midnight. Then a new message appears on the screen. I am back, Daddy. Did you bring the candles? You can only choose no. No. No? Why? I don't feel comfortable? Yeah. I don't feel comfortable. God, Lord! We're <laughs> to be together! Don't you want to bring me back to life? You are not Jonathan? Or should we turn off the- Should we turn off the computer? Let's just turn off the computer. Alright. You turn off the computer, you take a high dose of sleeping pills because you will need it. You go to sleep- You are having a vivid dream. You see Jonathan in a garden with green grass and colorful flowers. He runs around with happiness. And angels. There are white dressed angels around him. Everyone is smiling. You are not a part of this dream. Jonathan doesn't see you, but you are still content with seeing, ha seeing him happy in this Eden. He was always a benevolent boy, after all. He deserved to go to heaven. Oh, you wake up to the sound of the door, door of the door rings bell. You take a look at the clock. It's 10 a.m. It is 10 a.m. I'm usually asleep till 2 p.m. Go away. 
You wear your slippers and open the door. It's Bob! Hey! Howdy. I need to show you something. Is he Italian or is he Southern? He can't make up his mind either. Fair enough. He's still a good friend. <laughs> He holds a newspaper in his hand. There is anxiety on his face. You take the newspaper. It's Ohio's local newspaper. Another kid choked to death. Officers are investigating the curious case of repeated deaths of kids in the state. Yesterday night, a six-year-old boy, Kevin Madsen, was found dead in his bed by his parents. His face was covered with his pillow. What makes this interesting for officers is, this is the seventh time a boy died this way this month in Ohio. Recently, eight years old, Jonathan White also died with a pillow on his face. Sheriff Wal Walcott states that he finds the recent events quite interesting. Oh. Okay. Uh, oh. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Okay. Maybe a demon's just going around ch choking children and, and trying to go to their parents like, Yo, you wanna die too? <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Well, guys, we're gonna go ahead and just end it there for tonight. But we'll go ahead and do the other stories a little bit later. <laughs> And I'm tired. Sorry, everyone. I'm getting to sleep. We'll go ahead and end it for today. If you guys like the video, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell and click the like button, leave a comment, and check the description, and all that fun stuff. And also, be sure to check out Vincy's channel. I'm going to throw it in the... What's the word? Description. Until next time, this is Kaylee and Vincy signing off. Thank you.